Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as Communist Italy. The the slow African campaign is underway. I mean, I think we did play the whole last episode at speed 3, which is part of it, but it is legitimately fairly slow going here. We'll grab you guys and try to move you forward and try to take that as well. We did take Bonjul. Uh, they do have another naval base over here. Um, we're not fully orged up, but I think I'm going to go anyway, because probably they're not either. We can't pursue into Portugal. That's not going to happen because we're not at war with them right now. Um, we could, but I don't think that would, you know, I don't think that would make anything that would be really helpful taking out Portugal. Um, what am I looking for? Supply here. We get a bunch of tungsten, which is one of the things we import, although we don't import a lot of it. And right now we are fully satisfied on our tungsten requirements. So we're going to keep following south. Actually, you will as well and do this. Oh, did that attack a boot? I think it did. There, into there. Help out with that. Please. That uh, looks like that's a big no. All right, just uh, reorganize yourself then, and we'll get back to you. All right, we're pushing through here, which is fine. We did move some planes in, which is going to be interesting, given some of the supply issues. Well, actually, right now they're fine with the supply. Which I'm a little surprised about. A little bit waiting to go here. So it's flowing in and then up. Uh, we'll go and throw that in, but yeah, I think this naval base will have to be in big one. Did we ever max out? Okay, it's in the queue to max out our naval base um, in in Rome. Just to make sure we can have everything flowing out, but I don't think that's that's been the problem so far. Let's do that, because that looks like it should be pretty successful. And actually, if we can do this, um, we'll get a little pocket over here. There we go. Um... We have half of you guys just stay here for a sec. Same thing here. As soon as this battle is done, I'll have some of the guys stay here. And then we can do a big multi directional attack on him. Although we might want to wait until we've got this so that he can't escape. So we can get an actual encirclement. Yeah, maybe. Although it's going to be, continue to be a little slow going through here. Alright, not bad. One of you is still trying to move through there. We are going to take that. Advanced rubber processing. Uh, all right. I'll hold off on that for now. We will want this, but really we don't have that many of these factories yet. So the return on investment is not as huge as we might like. We probably will want a bunch of marines. I think more than anything, what we need to do is... Oh, we've got that, and we can't do this one. Okay. Our landing crafts are kind of okay. I don't think we're doing mine warfare. Um, the damage control would be quite nice to actually put on our ships at some point. The thing is, we're, we're even behind on our cruiser hulls, um, and I feel like we are going to need some slightly higher-end cruisers for what's going to come. Mexico declares war on Peru. All right. Peru joins the Axis. All right. So, not on our side, but is sort of on our side, short-term. No, I guess they're, they're sort of on our side because, like, we're going to have to fight them, but they're also fighting a common enemy. So, okay, that got booped there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to instruct one of these guys, actually. You stay behind. The one at the lowest org. You can just chill and rest. And then once these guys move in here, I can shift-click and attack there. And if we see any movement here, we have to go and attack to try to keep these guys pinned down. If at all possible. As I say, did we lose some divisions? I think it's just my merge divisions. Oh, okay. There's a counterattack going there. But I think that will be okay for us. If I'm worried, and I might be, I'm going to do this. Throw in some, an extra dude in here. This is still going to be defended by the Russians. Although it means it's an angle I'm not going to be attacking from. And I was just hoping to attack from lots and lots of different angles. You are pulling back, but you should be okay. Well, you'll hold that. Yes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold... Well, you're the one who's moving. And then that stop there. Yeah, okay. Just reposition yourself. We'll uh, we'll get back to you later. Meanwhile, over here, it's a little bit stopped too, but that's going... Okay. How's the um, unrest... Yeah, pretty bad. Pretty bad indeed. Ordini. 
These guys are over there. Now, you guys are fine. And how many you need? 20 divisions. You have 23. I'm going to take three of you out of here and transfer you back over there. Um, You do have the MP? Yeah. Like, these are pretty suppression-y things, but there's just too much unrest. And that's despite running this policy, and despite that our occupation policy is pretty gentle, which is a huge negative to the resistance growth. It is actually kind of surprising that we're still having an issue, but we do have a lot of territory. Um, except one of you, I'm going to get you to do this, to open another prong. There we go. Attacking across river, but I think it's going to be okay. Keep pushing down to there, please, if you can. Fuel's fine. Ships are fine. Lost three destroyers to kill a lot of British stuff. Killed a couple of convoys, convoys. Lost a sub, unfortunately, there for some convoys. And that's ongoing. But yeah, this is this is a hot spot for action. Alright. Pushing back the British. Get stopped by some. Germans and Chinese. Although that's not me, that's some very lightweight Soviet troops. Yeah. Keep going on mass down to here. Take another naval base. Oh, research slot available. So, yeah, artillery's... Oh, God. That's unacceptable. Man, the, la the, the, the research malice is completely thrown off what text I would expect to have. Completely thrown off. Alright, that should work this time. Hopefully. Amazing that both sides are fully supplied here. Alright, you guys can start this. Just make sure you guys don't fall back before I want you to fall back. Uh, Mountaineers, I'm going to get you to just add in the attack from here. You support from here. Hopefully we get in here before these guys start to pull back. I think so. But it could actually be kind of annoying. And they're falling back now. Uh, I may have started the attack here too soon. Get in there, get in there, get in there. And we should have arrived. Excellent. Boom. And you're going to just move in there and clean that up. Okay. Naval battle results. Not much to speak of. I mean, I set a limit on that. Like, don't bug me if it's just, like, I don't know. I mean, I guess I could I could disable the convoy rating side. We have free dockyards, really. Well, first of all, if there's any repairs to be done, like, repair at full speed. That's the only thing we care about. Um, other than that... How many more... Do I want another set of subs for a bit? Yeah, I think I'm actually good with this. We'll make another line of submarines. Yeah, it's mostly smash, but that's okay. Uh, you can go into raiders. Put some sort of limit on there so it doesn't necessarily go forever. You're definitely going to go. I'm going to get you to come through here. The slow, slow, slow march through Africa. And we still haven't taken any rubber yet. Amazing. What a grind. Pronto, signore. Pronto. There. Um, so who this? Okay, and you're in, yeah. I'll just say, taking this province isn't going to do any cutoff things, unfortunately. Um, I'd like to take this. Let's do this, support it this way. Because what I really want to do is take this province here with the naval base. Um, but I want to do it from multiple angles. Pronto. If we can. Plus, that's just just taking this out um, will stop some of the goods from flowing where they may want it to. All right, supply problems over here. We still can't do anything about it. Can we take out? about oh, I don't have any troops here. That attack is failing, so I'm gonna get you to just stop. Um, you're that's a lot of you. Be nice if the Soviets also threw in here. Mexico being aggro. Just non-stop. Alright. Let's queue up a reinforcement, even though they're not very strong. 
Yeah, it's the lack of supplies. I think we're gonna run out of juice before these guys break. They don't have a lot left! I don't think that'll... No. They won't get there in time. They will break! Oh yeah, they did break. I'm gonna move one of you in here, just to have something else in case they were reinforcing. But controlling Addis Ababa is gonna do great things for us. Meanwhile, green group here... Here, I'm gonna right-click the whole group to push down there. We'll see what happens. Ships are docked over there. Let's take a look at our naval situation. No, oh, we do have some reserve fleets over here of destroyers. Um, it'd be nice to set, like, en masse what I want their templates to be. Like, for the entire thing. It's like, I want ten task forces of ten each. I mean, I'm just happy to have the templates in general. We'll do that. I know, uh, there we go. I know there's some more down there, but we don't have enough. And what we'll do is we'll just wait to see, you know, more up here, that sort of thing. So you've got that. You're merging some things up. Everything else is looking okay. Lost a few subs there, but you've got this. You're currently in a battle. So yeah. Um, what I'm going to, I'm going to write, uh, what's command? Right click to dismiss all the pop-ups. I guess there's no way to just hide it for, oh, there's probably is a way. But yeah, these naval battle results. So this is when there's some actual fighting. Did we just drop three aircraft carriers? Yeah, they were converted battleship hulls. So they were pretty old school carriers. But we did trash three of them. 20 destroyers, some convoys. Lost three subs and six destroyers. And we probably took some damage on some of our capital ships. But still. Huge get. All right. At this point, if it wasn't for the fact that I wanted the rubber, I so would not be moving in here anymore. I'd be happy with controlling enough land here to be able to project a lot of power right there. Uh, yeah, probably... Oh, you, wait, you can't attack from there? Halt. Halt, halt, halt. Halt, halt, halt. halt. Um... Alright, that's not going to work. We can probably just get this. I was hoping to cut them off from behind. But we'll just push in. It'll it'll clear up my front line a bunch, which is going to be good. Uh, Addis Ababa. Okay, you're moving in. I'll get you to move in, too. Just to make sure we don't kind of lose this. Get in there. Someone's moving down here, which is kind of okay. But yeah, there was a second there where I could have built infrastructure. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. They're not going to have the dig in. They're still a little exhausted. They do have supplies, so they've got that going for them. Speaking of... Alright, shortages are still basically what they were. Um, How high up in my production list is the motorized? 13th. I'm going to move you way up here so you get first uh, an earlier crack of the rubber. There you go. Which is going to slow down my plane production, but having fewer planes... First of all, we have pretty good plane coverage. Um, and having fewer planes isn't going to cause me to lose more manpower, really. Okay, well, that's not, still not working. Hmm. Okay, we've got you back. Great. Can you go and control-click this? several times to get some infrastructure there. Meanwhile... Here, let's break you off to do something like this instead. And one of you can go here and here. It's a 1940s cruiser hull. We actually could almost start on the 44. Um, that's the armor scheme for it. Yeah, probably. Uh, we could speed it up. I guess, yeah, we have tons of naval experience. Let's definitely do that. Also, air experience. Um, I don't know what our doctrine situation is. We're going to have to take a look at that. Because I don't know if it's capped out or anything. Yeah, we'll keep running along the coast here. So we're having a real breakthrough in the west. The east is still being difficult. Although, we are going to be able to start squeezing pretty hard here. Once we've got this other side. Because, again, their supply situation uh, can't be good. What it could do is I could... Um, why don't you change your mind about continuing? No. Oh, I guess I'd only right-clicked on this one place. That's true. 
You're going to keep going. Same thing here. Just keep it going. Um, although... Uh, I may have left this a little, uh, a little empty. Yeah. Halt you. Some of you guys can reorganize yourselves somewhere. We still want a fairly aggressive push here. Taking all those will be good. We don't want to, we don't want to get cut off back here. There you go. That's good. Let me leave one person behind. Move a bunch of you in there. That's going to be okay. Actually, the four that are moving in, you're going to follow up with a movement that way. Don't want them to retake these. Take half of you guys, and we're going to send you up this way. There we go. Okay, good. Uh, you're already moving in there, so that's fine. Yeah, just halt. Go wherever you want to end up. That's going to be okay. All right, that's pushing well here. Grabbing more and more of these ports. Let me leave. Whoops. Assess, assess, assess. Leave one person behind. Just to make sure they don't counterattack right there. Uh, planes and reserves. Yes, that's good to see, I suppose. Just push in there. Flexible line. Excellent. Okay. That's really important. We can wait on this... We'll wait on these. Um, encryption, decryption. I don't know how much longer we can wait. Um, air doctrines? Hang on. I want to do this because I want to spend a bunch of air experience. There we go. And it's a good way to just get a boost to finish things up. Um, it would be really nice to grab some more here. But they're pretty dug in and it's mountainous. But if we can keep getting it from the... Uh, if we can keep getting it from the rear, we'll be really happy. Slight, slight in window, I suppose. Accidental, though. Uh, oh, we can't go through there because of the lake. Interesting. I'm going to have one person stay behind again. I mean, really, it's the port that's the most important one. They're not moving right now, so that's good. Keep go, go, go. And yeah, I bet you at some point we can start an attack here. And they're just going to have no supply. Get one of these guys to go sort of north this way. And like that. Trying a counterattack, which isn't going to do anything with these Australian forces. I think, maybe. It's hard to tell, and it doesn't say it in the tooltip. I'm bad at flags. Bad at geography, history, pronouncing things, flags. Uh, languages of all Avanzate. types, including English. Avanzate. I'm going to do one of these, because I think it's going to be okay. Deny them the local supply as well is going to be useful. A decision available. Um, war props, new. No. That is a lot all of a sudden. It's probably been a while since I've been able to afford anything. And then blow the Suez Canal, which I'm absolutely not interested in, because we should be able to hold on to it. Matson oil fields needs excavation five. Okay, that's fine. I'm not too worried. Um, I'm gonna take one of these guys and kind of do that because I was gonna say that's probably okay. I guess they're, they feel like they're sort of done here. Let me just grab two and keep going with the push. If we look here, no, everyone's still saying they got supplies, which is a little surprising. I'm gonna get you to halt. What was your attack? We'll maybe take a beat. Green, I'm not even sure if you've got a battle plan. Uh, what I'll do, just to make sure everything's kosher here, I'm just going to redraw that front line and encourage you to push. Yeah, we can probably just push to the wasteland here. I won't hit play right now. We'll let people get organized. Um, Alright, Cuba's coming in. That should be fine. There we go. And that. Columbia, sure, fine. Has the ship stuff going on. Okay, not very exciting. Lots of green, some red. That's without a battle plan. Looks like they're moving forward, which is interesting, because I didn't actually hit go. Although it might be okay for them to do so. I think this guy may have still had a bunch of right-click commands. Alright, you know what? 
You can hit go. Oh, in pocketed over here. Very nice. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Artillery. Um, and we do have a lot of tungsten. We have a lot of steel, too. Um, I think the rocket artillery has more, like, soft attack as a base. So 38, 34. Um, this has got two hard attack, one hard attack. Ability, breakthrough. This has got less piercing. Yeah, so this is much better against t kind of tank type of stuff. But this is much better against infantry. You do tend to fight more infantry than anything else. But this requires me to redo and change my designs a lot. I'll just go down the base one. I mean, we could do a mix later. If I have extra research, which clearly I won't have. Pronto, signore. Now... Oh, there we go. The Fiat 2800. And we'll grab the next level one as well. And we're going to switch some production around. Um, you're catching up. Toad and tank. Yeah, we've basically got nothing. Improved artillery. Uh, I'll pull down a swooch as well again. Tanks are starting to crew. That's nice to see. Infantry equipment is basically not being built right now because it's all smash stuff. Um, which isn't going to be made any easier when I start making mechanized infantry. And we're going to want a lot of that. I'll leave you behind the infantry equipment, allowing them to trim back on that number a fair bit. So yeah, you're all busted up factories. Um... Yeah, down like that. Okay. Planes and reserves. No manpower. What I'm hoping to do is after we finish this, is, uh, well, it's not really what I'm hoping, but what I'm probably going to have to do after I finish this, I'll probably have to do a giant consolidate on some of my armies. Just oh, for the manpower situation. Si, there we go. So that's all getting cleaned up, which is nice. This is going well, too. The fall of Manila. Falling to the Japanese. Now, the Japanese and I... Yeah, we're at war. So, yeah. <laughs> we're sort of hoping they take out um, New Zealand for me. Is sort of going to be the situation, actually. Because that can capitulate the Commonwealth. Because I really don't have much of an ability to do anything over there. Mm -hmm. um, there you go. You go into Malabo. We'll get you to keep sort of right-clicking with great abandon. You keep doing that. Well, not Malabo. Malabo's the island, I guess, but still. What's the button I'm looking for? That one there. All right. Well, we're starting to take a bite out of the rubber. Sounds kind of dirty. Sounds lewd. Come around behind there. That's going to be okay. Speaking of things that sound lewd. See. Hey, in pocketings. Actually, you do that. You're pushing that way. That's going to be okay. And you push in there. And something like that. Dusty Indies has capitulated. Okay. Go, go, go. So if we take a look at the axis. Well, there's the Southwest Pacific, right? It's a whole other thing. Australia, Mexico being a powerhouse. Philippines, United States. The axis themselves, Malaya, Japan. Japan's basically untouchable right now. The rest is, is highly... Highly gg -able, but finishing off the Japan is going to be an endeavor. Okay, yep. Well, we're going to go into the 44 hall. Formazione. Comandi. And we're going to make sure... Uh, where are we going? Production. Right here, these screening ships. There you go. We'll just finish those up and then make some changes. What's the decision? Improve worker conditions. I think we need to do this, actually, because our stability is quite low. Yeah. We're going to run that for a bit. We could use a stability boost. Send you off that way. Let's go in there. Making a fairly long front line. But they're not really... Well, I was going to say, they're not really in a position to counterattack that. As I say that... They do, but no, they get they get, they fall back right away. It's not going to be a thing. Okay, good. You're going to keep going down that way. One of you is going off to over there because we may as well. 
And over here, we're not really doing anything. Um, all right, you're going to be pushing there, and purple's going to be pushing there. I might be able to start these. They can't possibly have much in the way of supply. Although I'm only seeing the attrition icon over there. And we've got plenty on ours. Okay, you've already got infrastructure queued up there. Um... Oh, but the actual bottleneck for you is the naval base. You know what, we'll bring it up, I'll queue up to 10, and I control click so it's at the front of the queue. Teal might be able to go. In some places. Actually, what I could do is... Attempt. Oh, wait, oh, Teal's way up here. Yeah, let's scrooch you down quite a bit to that. And then just spread purple out some more, since they have no supply anyway. Can have them not be quite as concentrated into a single area. Go, go, go. We are in a war with you. We've got this. This is still kind of cut off and broken here, but not necessarily a problem. I'm going to get you to... Well, no, still swing there and grab that. That's going to be okay. And then that's Portugal, who's Pronto. neutral. Can we... No, I was going to say, that looks like too much. Attento. So still grab those. I mean, we can get supplies in here, so it's not really an issue. And again, I actually see my guys moving over here. Um, Although, our convoy escorts need to come down to the Gulf of Guinea at this point. And I would suggest that our strike force, we want to make sure you're also covering this area in case there is a fight. Um, there's also some more cruisers. We can go ahead and throw you in there. So at some point, what's probably going to happen is the old 36 cruisers are probably going to become a uh, patrol group. Even though really we'd want them with like launch planes and things like that for max visibility, but we'll, we'll see. Okay, you got that, you got that. Uh, you're attacking there, but it'd actually be better if you did this. Um, oh, you can't do that, but can you do this? Yes, excellent, wonderful. Alright, um, let's make sure to attack the impocketed people, rather than just stand around looking. There's not even anyone in there. So yeah, just clean that up so no one's being assigned to the border in a stupid way. Do that, and you're coming up this way, which is fine. Uh, you need to halt now. That's going to be fine, though. Do this just to clear that up. Yeah, come here, and then there. You halt for a second. But yeah, I'm still not too worried. The low supplies are still way over here. Not really a shocker. Um, it'd be nice if we could squeeze this guy's down, but I don't know if that's to be. You're coming in there, and these guys are running away, which is great. And yeah, if you can go and end up over here... I think I should redraw this battle line, too. Um, actually, with blue here, I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete... and draw that, and then tell you to continue to execute. Which isn't really changing anything right now. Push there. Nairobi into there. Okay, I'll halt actually. You're gonna assist there. I don't... Heal. Oh! You're you're told to execute aggressively. Oh, all these guys are. Yeah, well, let's like take that back a notch. Um Halt all of Teal here, because that's clearly not working. And get you to stop your battle plan as well. Um and but green's going okay. It'll be okayer if we can get this all merged up. Oh, are you actually going to get attacked out over here in Bratzaville? Well, okay, looks like you might hold it. I'm just going to send you in here as a reinforcement anyway to see what we can do. Should probably have paratrooper stuff. Do I have. Tra I've, have I been building transport planes? The answer is no. I probably want to have some of the queue. I'm not going to assign any factories to them right now. Fighters we still need a lot of. Close air support, we're bar ba barely trickling in. That's probably okay. Um, actually, I might want more. Yeah. I think aircraft carriers would be really good for actual um, Atlantic fleet operations. There we go. I think that is that, finally. Uh, or no. Okay, no. You're moving in there, which is fine. 
Uh, I will do this, because I think that's where that guy's retreating to anyway. So we should be able to... We'll basically attack him the second he moves into here. And then our green front will be unified. Um, how come there's only 10 divisions assigned to that? Oh, because you have a split front happening. Come on. Interception detection. Sure, we'll do that. And purple will still give you battle plan. Something like that. Um, I may not execute it quite yet. Your battle plan here is considered red. Not even a very useful battle plan exactly. Switch to something like this first of all. But yeah, I think they feel like they need to prep some more. Lots of units with no org, so I don't blame them. Um, I did go to yellow, but I might still just stop the attack plan for a scooch. Can we punch through here? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Good. And then you're already coming through here, which is nice. Pronto, signore. Go, go, go. Avanzate. Through here. Avanzate. Well, let's start with that. I'm not sure if we want to attack there. Um, actually, we do this, which will probably end up being a counterattack rather than a save. We'll see what happens. Done, done, done. Convoy Raider results? Yeah, I don't need that. Formazione. It's green, but... I'm not sure how successful it's actually going to be. Um, these borders... I could... Okay, I'm going to back here and here. Okay, that's not bad. It's something. Um, did they rebulge all this? Pronto. That might be the case. And I'm not sure that I've got enough to kind of counterattack. Um, how does the Baba's there? I don't know, maybe we just didn't take that. And if we can hammer this guy, cut off that guy. There we go. That's not too shabby. Lots of dudes still getting positioned. Still lots of people with automated commands. We'll take Bangui. And then, uh, what I'll do is actually leave one of these guys behind here so that we don't get cut off. Just reestablish some of these lines and be ready to hit go again. Unfulfilled import rubber from Siam. Well, let's turn it down a little. Philippines is capitulated. Okay. I mean, that's Japan doing good things. And we, we're just peripherally sort of working together here. Although we're not on the same side. I think these are just the Soviets attacking. I'm betting if I throw my units in here, we'll be able to take uh, Leopoldville. Looks alright. And then... Oh, that would be an attack. Although, are these guys moving away? Well, we might be able to move in here and just get some cut off. Oh, are you part of this attack? Yeah. The train here is so weird and hard to read where the... Um, where what's passable and what's not. Alright, so now that we have, like, every angle here... I realize a bunch of you are pretty worn out, but... Yeah... All right, just hold. We'll get back to you. Uh, I'm going to get you to do this, because that should alleviate a little pressure there. Excellent. Yeah, regain your org. It's going to have to be okay. All right, go on all the battle plans. Two of them, they were fairly confident. One, not so much, but we'll go anyway just to help keep people pinned down. Le yeah, halt that attack. Uh, halt all you. Ordini. We might be able to do something like that. And surround Mombasa. Or not. Ordini. I guess that's possible too. Big ol' or not. Um, these guys are marching, so there's no dig in. Uh, I might still wait a little. Here. Oops. Purple front got broken. 
things that are about to get really broken. These guys over here. Boop, you're dead. I mean captured as prisoners of war, obviously. I'm going to try to do that, which is fine. Okay. All this for a little bit of sticky, like, tree sap. But, uh, that's not the final one to hit. Over here. Yeah, we're only at a minus 10 on the rubber now. And we no longer have a deficit of motorized. We actually don't have a deficit of anything. Well, some planes, just because I, I told them to reinforce more than what we had. Which I like to do, because it's like, no, no. So, you know, send it my way. You can. You're going to move through there, which is okay. You're moving in that way. What you might be able to do is grab Bujumbara from, from behind. Always going for these victory points when we can. Uh, any chance we can push in here? Oh, these are Americans, too. What happens if we did this? Nope. There we go. Do that. That works for me. Help get it across the river. Uh, you can run something like that. Get these guys cut off. I'm going to get more of you to come in this way. And do that. Or at least attempt it. So, supply problems are still a big problem over here. That's lack of local stuff. Uh, there's some redness over here, and it's lack of local infrastructure as well. That's the problem. So let's get that going up. Yeah, so these are Soviets attacking there, which isn't doing much, but... I don't know, keeping them busy. Hmm. Yeah, let's focus on doing something like this. Same thing over here. Yeah, they're already pulling back, which is fine, and then... Uh, actually, I got you to stop here. No, don't, don't do the attack there. All right. Um, heal. Stop. Okay. So I want you to just chill until the attack on this province starts, and then you can attack that from another angle, which will be very good and helpful. We're gonna leave this province unguarded, but I think we're gonna be able to reinforce pretty quickly. All right, dockyard's coming in. Let's go and see what we can do. Uh, oh no. We must be on the cusp of 1944. We are. Okay. So I'm not gonna assign any dockyards to anything for a second here. We'll wait a month, and then we'll start building our 1940s hulls. Okay, you can do this to open up another extra angle. Although, yeah, you're going to wait there. Go, go, go. I mean, I know we have no, no fuel here, but... At least we had enough people in the fight that now other like the fight's not instantly ending. That was a problem before where we'd lose our org so fast the fight would instantly end. I'm actually gonna need you to come through here and go there instead. So we'll get a bit split. Alright. And then the Soviets are still keeping these guys occupied. Fine, fair. We do not need war propaganda against anyone. Thank you very much. Ooh, an actual naval battle? Is it an actual one? Hmm. Alright, well, not very exciting, but it is there, technically. And then the convoy raiders, we don't need those. Um, there we go. So we'll get Mombasa isolated. And nicely surrounded as well. I don't know how many dudes are left there, but the next attack should be a fair bit more successful. Although we are having some serious supply issues over here. All right, which one of these armies do I want to maybe start merging up into something else? Um, can we do this? Avanzate. Oh, maybe. Some people are already broken there, so they're not all fighting. Nice if the Soviets Ordini. jumped in there. We'll have to put up with that. That's going to be okay. Ordini. Half of you stand still over here. Bum, bum, bum. Si, 
I think we have to start attacking here, because I think they're trying to move out and reinforce. Yeah, so a bunch of their people have left here, so that's the time to go after Mombasa. Be nice if we can take this first, so as to cause them to just become booped. Oh, we actually might not uh, defeat these guys. There we go, we'll hold them. Alright, no, no, they're fine. Done and done, and yeah, you guys are going to be pushing down this way. I'm actually going to encourage all of you guys to do this. Actually, go ahead and do this. These guys are moving backwards. No. That is not working. Okay, never mind. Do this, do that. Although, I don't think we're going to need everyone. Make sure one of these guys, or a couple of these guys, stay back just to make sure we don't leave a hole in there. You're going to take that, which is lovely. Excellent. Still have a rubber deficit. Okay. Oh, let's make sure to do that. Keep the borders clean. Then you guys are pushing in over there. Oh. Bop those guys. Fort interception is done. Tactical, strategic bomber, ground support. We're going to spend experience to get the ground support boost. Ordini. 44 cruiser hull. Nice. Um, so there might be some other tech we want to give to our, our cruisers. But we can probably just start building it now. Um, let's see, 44 over here. Yeah, we need, we need the basic combat boosters. Um, but yeah, we will start to produce. And, oh, we have no cruisers in the queue at all. Okay. And these are all... We want rapid fighter guns. Yeah, which is what these are. Yes, 152. I mean, it's the same graphic, so that looks good. Good anti-air. We can give you radar technology, fire control module... Okay, so this is really our CL battle, which is which is pretty much good and done in. Save you. Um, we'll start. Uh, you're gonna go Italian theater. I'm gonna start two lines of you. Excellent. Um, and actually, let me do a little rename. CL battle, 44, rename. Good. That gets applied over there. Now we're gonna duplicate this guy. Uh, we're going to change them quite a bit. This is going to be a pure patrol craft, and it needs to be mostly cheap as possible with the float planes for vision. Um, maybe I will leave you in. This is not going to be exactly cheap as possible, though. I don't know, it might be okay. Um, we'll leave the, uh, the rear gun off. It's gonna be fine. So it's gonna have, uh, triple light batteries. It's gonna be fine. Some anti-air. I guess it's okay. But mostly, yeah. So use these, um, these plane launchers to dramatically increase the visibility that the ship, uh, provides. Or the detection that it provides. So these are our patrols, is what they are. They're not really supposed to get into fights, which is why you don't really need to arm them. And we could save a lot of production time if we remove it. Maybe I'll remove all the top guns. I'm cutting a fair amount of production time off, right? 4,300. If I put you back in. Yeah, it's an extra 300 points. Um, yeah, we can produce these a lot faster and easier if we do it this way. So we're going to save that. And the patrol 44. Um, I guess I'll also start two lines of these. I do have to make another change that I forgot about, though. Um, our patrol is going to have the sort of recon symbol over here, which is going to be useful when we set up certain automated, um, behaviors later on in organizations. So you're going to do that, do that, um, and there's one more naval dockyard that could be assigned. Of course, a bunch of these are broken, so they're not really getting built like that, but I think that's going to be fine. So we'll start these production lines, um...
Okay, we can't add more of those. We probably do want to set some numbers here. I don't know. There you go. Just some sort of plan like that for now. Because we will need, we will need uh, more naval stuff happening if we want to go and cross the Atlantic. Fight in the Indian Ocean, that sort of thing. There's a lot of stuff we're gonna need. Uh, I don't think we'll ever really do Pacific combat stuff to a great extent. Uh, well, maybe. I mean, I guess it depends on how much you count of this as Pacific versus sort of Indian Ocean kind of situation. I mean, at some point there'll be some Japanese stuff. I don't know if we really need to like dominate over here. I think it'll still be fairly close to the coast. We still have our old school battleships, which are still, you know, getting the job done. And not to mention our heavy cruisers, which I talked about as like, oh, heavy cruisers are kind of crap. Yeah, but turns out we're putting them to good use. Ooh. Okay, that's quite nice, actually. We do that. We've got this. Um, there's nothing else to gain down here. This is Portugal, right? No, Mozambique. But, yeah, sorry. Yes, it is Portugal. Um, and we're not at war with them. Well, we can probably just push down the edge here and then sort of squeeze in this way. And do a similar thing from here. Um, like that. Gotta make sure not to lose this spot here, but I think it should be okay. Stability did go up from improved working conditions, and it's still happening now. War bonds, ban stuff below the canals. No, we don't need any of those missions. It's gonna be fine. Change of attack. I say that should go pretty easily. Uh, just to clean things. Mexico. Man, Mexico just does not stop. Done and done. Actually, we'll be able to uh, merge these front lines together and just use the uh, the Marshall Plan. Excellent. Not the Marshall Plan, which is a post-war thing, but the Marshall Plan. Fortress Buster, because who doesn't love more attack? Messi's got promotions available, but nothing developed. Um, sure. Mm, hold off on the rest. Alright, that fiat, and then we could start on this one. I mean, I guess we don't have any national ideas that are going to give us discounts to this, so we may as well just power through. Um, sure. We'll do that, then we'll get one more change, and then we'll be probably shifting things around so that the uh, level 3... Um, level 3 mechanized stuff gets put like high up in the queue or something. Excellent. So you're still pushing there. I'm going to grab one of you and move you here and do something like that. And you're going to try to do something kind of like this. Because actually this lake would break our front line and make it look pretty dumb. So let's send more folks out over this way. Grab that. There we go. A little like that. You guys are pushing forward there. Well, I'm actually... The Mountaineers, I'll tell you to go here, then that way. I don't know if you'll actually be able to win that attack. We'll see. Those are convoy rating, which we don't need to see. Pronto, signore. I really don't need to make more moves there. Si, yeah, see, we're merged up over here. Ordini. Which is lovely. I guess this front line is being drawn. Hold on. Okay. Out of curiosity, if I were to go and clear out all these individual ones. And do that. Ah, right, we'll go around the lake. Nice. And then we'll just say something like... Push to here. And go. Very convenient. We're still going to want some manual intervention in places. See if we can get some uh, in-pocketings. Actually, just taking this, we'll unpocket these guys here. I don't know how many people are there, but... Uh, I think they're already running. Yeah. Which is why there's not a battle that started there. I suppose I could have waited to get some planning bonus. Forever impatient. 
Spezzate! Attento! Go! Prendete la mira! You to just keep... Avanzate! Just keep running down. They're gonna be forced to... Pronto. React to some of this stuff. Yeah, there we go. Clean that up there. That's gonna be okay. Um, did we lose some ground over here? So we're not gonna be able to win that attack. Hmm. Ordini. Pronto, signore. Go, go, go. Sì, signore. Um. Comandi. Just come through here. Push to here. Attento. Really? Oh, okay. These guys were moving, so I'm like, well, there's not going to be any, um, any digging or anything, but... Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, naval combats, sure. No naval invasion warnings, that's good. Um, police garrison. Police garrison. I mean, we're not using any Coast Guard, which is a little scary, but... Uh, have these guys been told to guard the coast, maybe? No, no, literally just lower resistance, which they need 125 over here now. Oof. Oh my god, 51 minutes. Alright, I gotta put a cut in this episode. Folks, thanks for watching. And I'm gonna... Oh, you have to go through there. I see. I see, I see. Alright, halt. Maybe I will... I'll, I'll let anything that was still going on go, but I maybe I will pause the... Um, actual fight instructions. Oh, you're pulling back. Okay. Um... And maybe take a take a beat before I hit go. I mean, they're fairly confident the attack will work, and there's probably lots of good places to go. But we can probably get a little org. It'd be nice if I could staff the office plan, but I don't have enough command power. Especially with the fact that I promoted some people. But even otherwise, it would have been a little difficult. So in theory, you have no resistance here. Yeah, it's all zero in the UK, which is nice to see. But yeah, lots of others are just still being constantly damaged. Wallonia over here. All ten just blown up. You know what? I'm going to put you at the bottom. It's not even worth trying to replace you, because you're just going to keep getting smashed. The 12th one's there. Same thing here. Anywhere that's gotten, like, fully smashed like this, I'm going to assume we just have no ability to control. So we'll put you down the queue. Those are pretty badly beat up. We have so many tasks in here. So many tasks. 220 civilian factories. Um, I think we did build our synthetic factories, because they would have been in there at some point. Let's take a look. Only short by 7 rubber. Okay. Hell, what I might want to do in safe areas, I might just want to queue up some more um, synthetic factories here. Refineries. I mean, we're going to get some natural rubber, but I'm just going to put one in a bunch of different provinces here. And I'm going to put it at the front of the queue, because at least they're safe, and the rubber can be good for things. Although, we are caught up on our motorized now, which is nice. And in fact... I really have to put a cut in this video. In fact, um, the motorized can be cut down some more. Because now that it's caught up, and we still need a trickle in to replace, um, mostly it's just support companies. That's all. And we'll probably just be able to go down to like a token one at some point. Just so it's in there and not bugging me, but yeah. Uh, recognized, recognized. Yeah, I'm going to bring it to the top. It's like it's first crack of the rubber. We have no infantry equipment being made. We have plenty in the storage, which is good. Um, you know, different eras and things like that. Uh, the latest one, is it the FNAB? Yeah, the FNAB 43, of which we have zero in storage, I believe we just saw. Yeah, so we don't have the good tech, and we're not actually producing. But I think that's kind of, sort of, going to have to be okay. Naval bombers were at the front of the list. Um, let me bring you way down. Even um, closer support fighters. We can really start deprioritizing these things. That's going to be okay. All right. There you go. The mechanized infantry equipment is going to start to be produced because that's what we want to do. We're going to want to trim back the number of divisions we're using, um, and we want to make them mechanized, especially after we're done dealing with here in Africa. Um, turns out, like, wheeled things that need fuel, maybe not so great in a super low infrastructure and supply kind of region. Oh, you can't go through there. But, all right. Cut. Cut, cut the video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>